guys, I'm with Anne. Hello! <laughs> and she's a paramedic with the Civil Defense Auxiliary Unit. What do you do full time? Um, I'm a flying crew, so I fly with Singapore Airlines. Wow, you're a cabin crew. Yes, <laughs> so I how am. do you find time to actually volunteer since you're flying? Um, because I get my roster very early, so mm. I get to plan my day off as accordingly. Mm. So when I want to work with, when I volunteer my time per se, I can actually do my rostering as I am. So how do you come to know about uh, CDAU? So the whole home team volunteer, they have this website. So you can go to the website, they have different kind of categories. For example, like we have the marine fire site. Mm. As a volunteer paramedic, right, are you treated the same way as uh, the regular SCDF paramedics? Uh, no, because after all, the responsibility still lies with the regulars. So we are just there to be a helping hand first when they need us to assist in any of the procedure. We can actually be there. Like that. How do you find like volunteering with uh, CDAU? Uh, it has been a very fun and fulfilling nine years, and I do nice. enjoy it so much because I get to see different cases, and uh, they really, they're really very interesting mm. because they are really very frontline. Like we get all different kind of cases, anything that you name it, we should, we should be able to. Mm. Is there. I see, I see. Okay, thank you so much, Anne, for uh, this uh, short interview, and uh, are you recruiting right now? Yes, I am. How many people have you recruited so far? A few, a good numbers. Awesome, awesome. Keep up the good work, yeah? Thank you. Okay, thank Let's you. Begin. Okay, guys, I'm with five fighters, uh, John Joel and uh, Joel. <laughs> <laughs> both, former, both have similar same names. Huh? So these guys, they are volunteer firefighters with the CDAU. And just want to ask, how long have you guys been volunteering? Huh? Um, actually, since August, actually, this very recent. Very recent. How are you? Yeah, I've been volunteering since uh, June 2015. So uh, how was the training like for you guys, the firefighter volunteer training? You know, uh, Very challenging, but very fulfilling. Very yes. Fulfilling. How about yourself? So for fight fighters, you have to go through 16 weeks of intense training at Civil Defense Academy. Academy, um, you definitely need to train. It's uh, not just physical strength, but also mental endurance. How do you guys juggle like work and family with uh, you know volunteering with CDAU? You know, I think it's more of uh, prioritizing and time management is very important, and it's very important to really set a set a routine. So uh, volunteering, it's good to have a routine, do it regularly, and then it doesn't seem like such a chore. After you guys pass out, right? Where are you guys posted to? Uh, Bishan Fire Station. Yeah. Bishan, Bishan, that's near my house by the way. Bishan, <laughs> Bishan. Oh, from here, from Bishan. We're both from Bishan. Oh, awesome, awesome. How was your experience like as a volunteer firefighter? Like, do you really attend those fire cases, put yes, out the yes. fires with the regular? Yes, we do, and it's uh, very eye-opening, of course. And um, yeah, it's a great experience, very exciting, but it's scary at the same time. <laughs> How about yourself? Yeah. Actually, we don't just attend to fire cases. Uh, firefighters also frequently attend to medical cases. We have to do high performance CPR. We have to attend to uh, rescue cases sometimes, road traffic accidents, and uh, there's never a dull day in a firefighter's uh, you know, uh, shift. Oh, wow, wow, very, very exciting indeed. Huh? For me, like what John says, also setting a routine. So every Saturday, I'll be at the station, most Saturdays actually, uh, for eight hours. And yeah, so that's actually what I do, just setting a priority and keeping to it. Thank you, John. Thank you, Joel. Keep up the good work, you know. Okay, so that's the end of my vlogs covering the Home Team Festival with Home Team Volunteer Network. Um, I just want to convey my appreciation to Home Team Volunteer Network for this wonderful opportunity to actually interview the volunteers, you know, vlog about the Home Team Festival and also fellow volunteers who came out and uh, let me basically interview them and especially to, you know, my friend here, Amir, he has been with me uh, since day one of the Home Team Festival, holding the camera for me. I've never had a camera crew before, you know. This is my first series of vlogs to have uh, basically somebody holding the camera with me and, you know, somebody behind the scenes uh, of all of it. Uh, and uh, I really uh, cannot do this vlog series uh, without you. So thank you so much, Amirul. Is there anything you want to say? <laughs> uh... From all the people in HDVN, we are always looking out for volunteers who want to give more and do more. So really, from, me, from us, thank you for being here. <laughs> thank you, Amirul. 
and thank you HTVN and thank you all the volunteers and also fellow viewers you know who take your time to view the vlogs and yeah I guess um, we will see you in the next one